This is Big Island Video News for Monday, October 30th, 2023. The effort to rid Hawaii Island of the little fire ant has mostly been abandoned, as the invasive, stinging insect has become well established. However, with a new treatment technique having success with the fire ant infestations on Maui, perhaps the fight on the Big Island is not over yet. The University of Hawaii reports that little fire ants in Nahiku, Maui are nearly eradicated after more than three years of treatments. The ant control technique developed by the Hilo-based Hawaii Ant Lab relies on an insect growth regulator combined with a beef liver bait that is highly attractive to little fire ants, but not other insects. A helicopter is used to distribute the treatments, which is said to be safe for use around waterways as well as humans and animals. After more than three years and 24 treatments, surveys of the Nahiku infestation show the little fire ants have been nearly eradicated. The Maui Invasive Species Committee called the news a victory for their island, but also the rest of the state, because there is now a proof of concept that it's possible to eliminate large infestations of little fire ants in some of the most extreme habitats. A draft environmental assessment for the pilot release of Ala La in East Maui has been published, as officials look to an island devoid of the native hawks that hunted the endangered crows when they were previously translocated on Hawaii Island. Ala La are historically found on the island of Hawaii and currently survive only in captivity. Since 1992, there have been three attempts to release the crows back into the wild on the Big Island. The attempts were unsuccessful, largely due to predation of released Ala La by the EO or Hawaiian hawk. There are no EO on Maui. The public comment period on the draft EA for the Maui translocation opened on October 23rd and closes on November 29, 2023. New research shows the Oopu Maukea, one of nine freshwater goby fish native to Hawaii, needs to access the ocean as part of its natural life cycle. The fish, which is endemic to Hawaii, is known for its ability to use its fused pelvic fins as a suction cup to help climb waterfalls as they migrate upstream. The study by the University of Hawaii at Manoa, published in the Journal of Fish Biology, is said to highlight the importance of preserving Hawaii's freshwater streams and bodies of water. So Hawaii has nine native freshwater uh, species, and all of them um, are amphitrimous, meaning that the larvae flow down to the ocean, and then they migrate back up as juveniles and finish adulthood in the streams. Because of that, it's so important that we take care of the stream from Malka to Makai, making sure the stream connects all the way from the mountains to the ocean. The researchers say the results reaffirm the importance of tracking the health of streams and freshwater bodies and prioritize which waterways and habitats should be restored and protected to ensure the migration of native stream species and ultimately increase their populations.